Hello and welcome to D&D with High School Students Season 5. I'm back at the table with the whole gang. And before I introduce everybody, like and subscribe, because I don't say that enough. Thank you. To my left, we have Harris. Harris is playing Florian Meadow. He's a monk, a satyr monk. He has That's hooves. Me. And he moves really fast, and he can dodge everything, and I hate it. Next up is Josh. He's playing Occam, the Leonin Barbarian. He has magic, too, because of totems and powers and other things related to barbarians. And I also hate that. Over across the table, we have Ellen, who's playing Winifred Birch, um, a southern belle for some reason on this weird Greek-based continent. It's fine. It's totally fine. It doesn't ruin my campaign idea at all. Um, Winifred Birch, who is also playing a satyr, and she's a grave cleric. And I'm finding out that I also hate grave clerics. <laughs> and then across uh, next to, sorry, adjacent to, we have Kat, who's playing none other than Lark Othello uh, for a uh, Fingari uh, warlock. And as we have now discovered in the campaign, the Fingari are skin changers, shape shifters, bestial people who are werewolf. moved by primordial things. He's a werewolf. Yes. A werewolf. Yeah. So that's the whole party, everybody. Now, in the last session, you guys may remember that you met a, a kind new friend slash ally named... Uh, I wrote it down. There we go. Notes. I'm no fool. I wrote it down how, how it's uh, Sabella. 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 That's correct. Sabella. Thank, thank you. And what what do you think Sabella was? She appears to be a Kamina woman. Uh, she's, a, uh, she's, she's a god. She's an mm -hmm. ostrid. Okay. She is. She's she's a god ostrid. of dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Powerful. Yes. Do not call her a god. Lives in an epic treehouse. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the yes. ancient forest. Um. And you guys learned some things from Sabella. What were some of the things that maybe you learned? A lot of things. We learned a lot. Lots of things. Okay, Josh, share some of the um, things while Krafa goes to your camera. Gods, they're not what we thought they were. There's also other gods. There's like five? Something she like did that. mention five. Five gods. Big uh, dragon. Did she tell you the names of those gods? I do. I don't think believe so. We learned so. the true name. We learned the, the true of name of, of the god of death. Which you learned fun. that Sinkarone may actually be... Taik. Taik. God of the Void? Yes. Uh, and it wasn't referred to as God. She referred to it as a entity or a divinity. She did not refer to it necessarily as a god. Also, the world, or might, get, the world might get blown up by a dragon god thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else? What did you learn about that? We need to talk to a wizard. We need to talk to a wizard, the oracle. The oracle. Yeah, the prophet. He's, the an, prophet. he's an old guy who the lives prophet, in, who's yeah. like bound to the mountains. He's an old wizard that's bound to the mountains that definitely has not had any it's not previous dating, relationship it's not dating with Sabella at Sabella. all. So you, you, you inferred that the prophet may have had some history with Sabella. You can put it that she way. She did not name the prophet, though. Recall. All oh, right, she couldn't say his name. Yes, his actual name. She couldn't. She said that she couldn't say his actual name. Correct. Yes. yes. And and were you given reason to believe that you may have encountered this prophet before? Oh yeah, we did. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the three musketeers. The three musketeers uh, used that. a magic, funny banishment, special banishment spell that was apparently also used on the uh, ancient gods, I think, to some, imprison them in the continent. Some evil entities that were all brought to this continent by the other gods, they altered banishment instead of banishing to put them into a deep slumber. Um, in the I, continent. In the continent. Mm -hmm. And one of them has begun to wake up, and that is the That's dragon the queen That's the dragon, Zemai. right. The red dragon queen Zamai. Yes. What else was there? Oh, uh, she cannot leave the forest, and nor can the prophet leave the mountains. Yes. Last good. time that happened, last time she left the forest, she was uh, grievously, I, don't, I guess, injured would be the right word there. Yeah, because she was she was she helping the invasion. She helped she, she helped, she she helped she stop the invasion against in Ohio. Uh, in with, I don't know here. It was it was it was Sama. Sama. Sama, Thank with, you. With with the with Leon. Leonin. Yeah, Yeah. Not the uh, I'm not very the proud Stratus. of you guys um, because you have recalled most of the lore. And for all previous D&D with high school students seasons, they usually don't remember any of the lore, which leads to ruinous failure this in man most has, capacities. This man is conditioned we to listen. know everything all yes. the time. <laughs> Good. Game <laughs> on. Even fear. All right. So you guys have had a wonderful long rest in Sibylla's magical treehouse. I got a basket. 
And what did you decide to do? Are you going to see the prophet? Are you going to warn Neurostema? We're going to go to Neurostema. Travel to Neurostema, and then once we're done with that, we're going to go to the, I remember I, the prophet. I remember I gave reasoning about that, but I forgot my reasoning. We're going to the city first to get out of the way. I believe so. OK. You leave the grove. Um, oh, wait a minute. She gave you all something. She gave us magic. Oh, she gave us items. rewind the clock. Let's go around the table. What Harris, what did you get? Uh, two potions of water breathing. That's right. I think I was with that potion of yeah. water. Yeah. We, we each got a potion. Yes. All right. Josh, what did you get? Um, I think he also just. I think, I think it was with also the yeah, uh, water, breathing potion, water breathing potion, and then I also got some knowledge about my my sword that I found. Mm -hmm. I don't think any. Mm, she said you had to attune to it to learn yes. more about it. But she recognized it as magic. Yes. But that was about it, I think. Okay, good. Ellen? I got a silver dragon scale that acts as a plus two shield and gives me resistance to cold damage. Right, and, and it's can cast big compared spell. to you. Like, it's a big... I'm four feet tall. And, and none of you really are super proficient with arcana, so... You know it's a big dragon scale. You're not really sure from what age or size of dragon this may have come, but you know it's big. Mm -hmm. And it does things. Yes. yes. Yeah? I got a potion of fire resistance. That's right. Either fire resistance or fire immunity, I do not remember. That's right. Okay. All right, now you leave the grove and you start heading east through the ancient forest. Josh, roll me a d20. Is this for survival? No, this is random encounters in the oh, forest. Oh, fine. Don't be silly. <sighs> so what you roll doesn't even matter. It's just how close it is to my roll. Seven. Oh, you failed. Okay. All right, so you guys are marching through. Hours go by, and you hear a voice start to whisper in the trees. Anybody understand Sylvan? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, like, oh, that's all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Tricks. For those of you not in the studio right now on the wide shot that doesn't exist, they all raised their ta their hands. Damn it. We uh we love living in the woods. We love living we in the woods. My brother in Christ. Okay. <laughs> then I'm campaign. just gonna say that those of you who have over a ten passive perception notice mm -hmm. that there are and by the way it's it's daytime, but remember this is an ancient forest, so the canopy overhead is so dense mm -hmm. that it's kind of like a, a, a like a twilight. Okay, so it's you can still see, you don't need dark vision per se, but like it's kind of dim. You see many eyes peering out at you from behind branches and trees and bushes. How is Vermont reacting to this? Uh, Vermont is uh, riding you like a backpack, basically. Factor eyes? <clears throat> big, big factor you use monk, bad monkey eyes? Like yeah, eye. you look at Vermont, like you look over his shoulder and Vermont's eyes are just like laser targeting, darting around all the other eyes and, and make an animal handling or insight roll. I'll let you choose. They are the same. Okay. Thirteen? Oh, yeah. Vermont seems not excited about this. In fact, you notice he clings tighter to Occam. The eyes as if in the forest perhaps look he's like, afraid. Do the eyes I was asking? No, they okay. don't look like uh Spectre eyes. Like they, they, they look okay. they look um almost phantasmal. Like they kind of have a greenish look to them. Occam, is this your ghost again? I don't Hey, you have a ghost. It was it was one time. I mean, it, this might be two times I, now. How come you have a ghost? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, it's, is that the ghosts? He like ghost? killed a tree once. You guys are literally talking. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. You see, <laughs> you, you see, one of one of the pair of eyes behind a bush actually just stand up, and it's actually the bush, and like oh. the longest branches kind of extend <laughs> oh. into like these clawed arms, and it sort of like looks at you guys I, back and forth. This Hello. is really cool. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Flurry. Roll initiative. No, <laughs> no, no, my bush friend. I want to be friends with the bush. Why does Josh get a fun oh. little pet and none of us get fun little pets? Well, oh, bad. Bad. I mean, it's a shame. It's bad. It's you bad. could always try. Let me borrow that pencil. Okay, can, so who had over a 20? I have a 20. You have a 20. Okay. 20 it is. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, Jesus, you guys. 14. 14, okay. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's a, that's a 6, seven. 7. Yeah. 
Okay, Lark with a seven. Occam, what is your pathetic? Three. Uh, oh, three. Oh. Okay, well, maybe little, that won't work out to be too bad. Meow, meow. Little meow, Florian, meow. Little creature. as this <coughs> bush slash tree creature starts to lumber towards you with both How of its arm this? claws running at you. It's about your size. It's a medium-sized size. creature. Does it look like Let's say it's about, this one's about five feet does tall. Does it look like the other pairs of eyes around are going to be hostile too? No, it looks like they're just waiting. Waiting. Okay, this one first then. I'm going to run up. And I'm going to attack it three times. Okay. Uh, those are all sevens. I rolled a seven three times. The, the, the attack is not seven. It's 13 each. It's the creature. Uh, all three of those hit. All three of those hit. Okay. Tell me the dommage. I will. Uh, 20. It's dead. 20 bludgeoning. You're like, crack, crack, smash, and the bush just falls apart and like branches and leaves crumble to the ground. <clears throat> I did. You did it. Oh, whoa, that was And fast. that's yeah. when the other five of them in different shapes and sizes start to sprout forward and ambush you guys. Yep. Yeah. There are two works. small, two medium, and one large. The larger one's almost like a tree. tree. And they all start yes. rushing towards you. Um, the first two, the small ones, are going to attack Occam, because I rolled a two. A nat 20 jump. and a nine. So the oh. nat 20 is a hit. The nine is going to be a total of 12. Does that hit? Misses. Okay. So the nat 20 does 17 damage. Bludgeoning. Oh. Um. Okay, the mediums. You're not raging yet. No, I'm not are going towards Harris. Oh. A miss and a miss, a five and a three. No matter what their bonuses are, that's not even close. The large one, that's kind of a tree-ish one, is also going towards Occam. Rip. Uh, that's a 16 and a 16. Both hit. Both hit. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is going to be 18 more bludgeoning damage. Oh. And now, we need. So, everyone's kind of in the same area, yeah? Yeah. And I'm going to go into kind of the middle of the, the, middle of the fray here. I'm going, to pull, I'm going to pull out some of the flowers on my hat. I'm going to throw them up. Mm -hmm. They're going to turn into crow feathers. I'm casting spirit guardians again. Mm. And the, the flock is, the murder is back. Okay. The murder of crows is back. Okay. Um, so at the start of the plant's turns, so they're going to have to make wisdom saves or death. Um, shorties? Hmm. Is it the start of their turn? Oh no, at the start of their turn. Yes. So next round. Gotcha. Okay. Good, 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 good. Lark, you're up. I, uh, okay. Okay, so, do I have bugs in my pockets? And roll a I... d6. If you roll even, you do. That is a six. You, you have bugs in your pocket. Okay, great. Hexed and ready to rock. Bonus action, I move Hex to this tree, Treant. The largest one? Yes. Yeah, you don't, I don't know if you know what these are. You make an Arcana or Nature check. I'll be kind to you in this instance. That goes for any of you who have a desire to know Arcana what they are. Arcana or Nature? Arcana or Nature. Oh, well, 11. 18. Oh my god, I can't roll <coughs> all today. Um, you... 14. You who have over a 15 think that maybe these are blights. Oh, I, I don't like these guys. I do not know what that is, but regardless, I will hex it with strength. Is that the largest one? Yes, the largest one with, with strength. All right. So now you invoke your hex upon it. OK, and then my action, I will. Are, are are my my party members like surrounding this this blight? It seems like they are creature? attracted to the Leonin. No, um, but I mean like because I'm gonna cast Shattered, I don't want to hit my party. So no, they have kind of moved towards you from a 180. So like kind of they they flocked towards Florian and. Um, it's a 10 foot uh, radius sphere. Can I hit them without hitting my party at all? Yeah, you can do okay, that. Okay, great. Then if you center it behind them. How many of them are there? There's two small, two medium, and one large. Okay. So five. Can I hit nines. at least nine the nine. big one and then a couple others? Yes, you can hit the big one and one of the, the um, mediums. Okay. 
that are attacking Occam rather fiercely right I now? will do that. Um, yeah. Uh, what so save did you, what, what, what uh, abil ability check did you give disadvantage on for Hex? Strength. Oh, you know what? Can I, can I retcon and say Constitution? It's not for saves. It's not for saves. Oh, then never mind. That's We're good. Two. We're good. Uh, okay. They have to make con saves. Okay. Big guy. No. That was a one. Uh, medium guy. That was also a one. What are the odds of that? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> statistical anomaly. Statistical anomaly. Only two. You know, I don't actually need this anymore. Whoa! Anything. Yo! The secrets? The balance secrets. I take 12 thunder damage. Uh oh. The, the big guy takes 12 and the little guy takes 12? Mm -hmm. Ouch. And this man's whole career. Oh, a creature made of inorganic materials such as stone. Oh, never mind. I think these are pretty organic, I mean, no, but Cat. I don't blight, know. Blights are made. Uh, aren't they yeah, made of dead, they, dead, dead plant material? Um, but they count as inorganic material? It's kind of disadvantage on the third there, but that doesn't matter. Okay. I don't think, okay. I don't think yeah. that matters. I, think I, that matters. I feel like it's, it is what it is. Occam, you're up. That's me, finally. Can I use my very. Carafa. 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 There we go. Can I use my very limited. Uh, knowledge of ghosts and try to figure out is this because of the the corpse that i looted and the store that i have oh that's a deep story stretch let's think about this we got rid of that soul could this be linked to them mm. and maybe to that ghost i'm gonna let you make an insight check at <sighs> disadvantage mm, that's always fun <laughs> that's we, we use that soul that is a 11. You don't think so. All right. Um, hmm. But it does vaguely remind me of that. Yeah, sure. Strange plant-like creatures attacking you. I'll take uh, I'll take out the sword. I'll try the sword out. Uh, <coughs> and I'll make I'll, I'll first bonus action rage, um, and then I'm gonna make two attacks against the largest creature. Yeah. Tree. Do it to it. Uh, first one advantage will be a. This is a long sword. Yes. Okay, and that's uh, D eight damage, right? Yes. Okay. Um, that will be. A... Are you not using a shield? I don't have a shield now. So if you're using that, it's a D ten then, right? Yeah. If that's you right. use it with two hands, it's a D ten. Um, I can't do math right now. Give me a second. Eighteen to hit for the first one. That is a hit. And uh, fifteen. 15's a miss. Okay. Um, is on the big one? Yeah. 13, I believe, slashing. Okay. From the uh, the magic sword. I, did, I don't know if that's magical or not. It is. Oh, fun. Okay. So, Florian, it's back to you. All right, okay. Uh, how many are surrounding me? Uh, there are two on you. And three on Ock. Okay, I will use my bonus action and summon my arms of the astral self, and I get the two funny ghost arms. And both those guys next to me have to make a dexterity save. Ooh. That's not the wedge. That 11 is not going to succeed. Again, this is DC 14. No, that'll miss. This 19 will succeed. One and fail takes four or four damage. And then to the one I that failed, I'm gonna make two attack rolls with my newly summoned ghost up. And that is a fourteen and a nat one. A fourteen's the hit. Okay. This is not the one that didn't take damage. This right? is not the one that didn't take okay. damage. Okay. Uh, and it takes an additional eight force. All right. Pow pow. Ka cha cha. Okay. Now they are gonna swamp you. Wisdom saves. Oh. <sighs> That's all of them, right? Five, ten. Fifteen foot radius from me. I stood in the very middle so I could get all well, of them. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So ten, five, five. Do we have to make that save, or is it just that? Uh, I pick and choose. So the ones on the ends aren't in your range. The large one takes up this much space, ten, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then a five and a five. That's fifteen to the middle. Mm -hmm. So you can hit large guy and one small and one medium. 
whether the medium one's 15 feet from me? If, the, if you wanted to move so that you could get the mediums, you, you could, in other words, if you wanted to get three out of mm -hmm. the five, you'd have to move closer to Harris so you can get the two mediums and basically half of the large guy, which will still impact. Him. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So three of them are making saves. Yes. Uh, DC? DC um, 14. All right, two mediums. Make and make. Okay. Large. Make. Cool. We're going to take half of still good rolls. No math today. Uh, 19. So Radiant. nine, because it's half? Nine, yeah. OK. Big guy looks like he's been ouched. Mm, nine, that's 13 now. And that's 17. And the mediums look like they're sort of ouched. OK. <clears throat> now they attack. Two mediums attack you. That's a hit, and that's a 14? Yes. OK, so the hit is going to do eight total damage of the bludgeoning type. Two smalls attacking you again. Uh, 14 Hit. and okay, 14 and 20 total. Ooh. So no AC. Plus six is 17. Half of that is eight. You are raged. Right? Yes. Yeah. So eight total damage. And then Largo. Largo will smash one smash on you and one smash on you. So no. uh, left Kill. fist on Harris oh, is going to be a hit. Largo. That's going to be a 21 Ugh. and a 20. Ugh. Two hits. You're going to take 14 and 14. So 14 bludgeoning. Half you're taking seven. seven. Um, and they are just rawr, 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 smash, smash, smash. But now it's Winnie's turn. Dun, 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 dun. We're, my turn. We're, Fifteen. We're, how? We're full. Huh? We're yeah, not. I took full damage first. You round. took a lot of damage before the Don't rage. Do you have a lot of con? I do. Bestie. That's a lot of damage. Bestie. Took a lot of damage. Bestie. What are you at? Fifteen. You know, if you drop to zero, I can't heal you very efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do 30 damage in one turn, though. You don't know that. No, I do. Oh, I can't do 30. If I crit on you. All right, Winnie Birch. All right. Um. You, I would say that you could perceive, even though you're closer to Florian right now, you, you see that Occam is just getting shredded by these Yeah, by these that's blights. not great. Um, Florian's just doing this. He's got music in his head come from nowhere. He's stabbing yeah. one of your friends to get them down so you can heal them. The yeah, exactly. This ever. is the way. Um, okay, I'm going to go towards one of the um, ones by Occam. Okay. I'm not great at hand to hand combat, but I'm going to stab it. Attack. With my, with my knife. Oh my god. That is an 11. Uh, that just, you're like. And the, the the bush does like a matrix style move where it just oh, leans well. back because it doesn't have a spine just, and it's very flexible. You just got matrix mm -hmm. style. Lark, you're up. All right. Oh, I need healing. So, <laughs> I will <laughs> um, ask. <laughs> very nice. Okay, so is the big one the big one still standing? Right. Oh yeah. Next turn. All right. <laughs> and the only one that was killed was the very first medium ambusher that he took out with like a, a quick okay. strikes. Okay, okay. I don't know why I would cast suggestion. I'll use another shatter. Can I use shatter on, on more of these guys without harming my? Body? Yes, you kind of move move a little bit to the side, and then you're you cast it almost in a a wedge shape. Okay. Do you now? Here's what I need to know. Do you it's, go to the Harris ten, side, or do you go sphere, to the? It's a ten side? foot sphere radius. Right, but I'm saying you, which will let you get two, either the ones attacking him or the ones attacking him. One's attacking him. Yeah. Okay, so you, you basically, you're behind the lines. You're behind them. You kind of go around about 20 feet, and then you cast it so that you're able to get the ones that are yes. adjacent to Josh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the DC? It is. Uh, I want to say six, 16, No, thirteen. Success. Thirteen and a fifteen. Takes half then. Okay. Give me that damage. Um, 
17. So eight. One of them drops. One of the bushes shatters, leaves explode, little uh, slivers of wood kind of all around you. Okay, this now brings us to Occam. Now, we prior, we had uh, allowed me to replace one of my extra attacks with the daunting roar feature that I get as a Leonin. Let's do that. All right, uh, I'm gonna be using that. Uh, I need everyone to make, I need all of the enemies to make me a wisdom save. Big guy, fail. Um, the remaining small guy, what's the DC? 14. Mm, fail. Success, fail. So just one of them made it. What's the effect of this? They're, they're frightened. All, they're all frightened. They're Until not until the medium. end of my next turn. Got it. And then I'll use my extra attack to make attack on one of them. Large guy or smalls? Large. Do it. Uh, that will be a 23 to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. What's that damage? It will be a 8. Total? Yes. Okay. He's still up. Florian. Yeah, that's me. Okay. There are fewer opponents. But there's, there's still two in the Yeah, opponent, yeah. Right? Okay. So starting with the more injured one, I'm making an attack with my quarter staff, and that's going to be a uh, 12. No. No? Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to punch it with my astral arms. That's going to be a 13 and a 14. 14's a hit. Okay. Wow, I'm rolling really bad. <laughs> Four force damage. Four force. It is still alive. Bonus action. Attack. That's a miss. Okay. You are just slurring all over them with spectral arms and real limbs. And they seem pretty resilient. These shame. animated, unnatural aberrations of nature. Abomination. Okay, this brings us to them. Do wisdom they have to make saves. more wisdom saves? Mm. Okay, big dude. Uh, that's plenty, 16 something. Uh, mediums, DC 14, makes, okay. Smalls, or sorry, the mediums attacking him, fail, fail. All right, um, so the full damage is 13. Kill, kill. Murder, murder. So suddenly there are no more. In front of me? Yeah. Oh, red. What about the, the, the ones that made the save? Um, they'll take half of 13. So that's Six or seven, quite depending on. enough to kill him. But now there's only the large guy and one dude against you. OK, good. Uh, large guy is going to do the same thing. He's going to rake his claw once towards Florian and once towards Occam. Florian. He's disadvantage on the attacks because he's frightened. Oh, that's right. He wouldn't Does attack he, you. Doesn't he just have disadvantage on you? Is it against me or is it while well, I'm in line of sight? I don't know. Give Look it book. up. Huh? Frightened. Find All right, frightened. a 19 is a hit on you. Uh, oh, yeah. OK, just making sure. So that is 10. And we will determine the frightened condition. See, I just folded up this stupid screen, and I, it does have a purpose. Frightened. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear. <laughs> nope. So you don't take that damage unless. Does a 17 hit you? Yep. Okay, then you take that damage. All right. Uh, Second attack with disadvantage. Uh, it, is it, a I, miss. it is advantage on these attacks because I reckless attack, so just be uh, flat d20. Because it, it is disadvantage from frightened, but also disadvantage because of my reckless attack. Oh, so it, it, I see. Yeah. Cancels it out. Uh, 14? Mids. 11. Whoa. So you take half, which is 5. Yeah. All right. The one remaining brave soul who dares to attack misses. Um, <laughs> now we go to Winnie. So wait, which one's there's, that? There's one, one, um, one unfrightened one. One small so one, one large one. The large one is wounded. The small one looks very wounded. Like it's it's already dropped some tree limbs and leaves. Mm -hmm. So both are currently adjacent to them. Mm -hmm. So hey Josh, you cannot deal twenty damage to knock me with a single. No, stab. I'm not gonna knock you out. But I take I have my knife still. 
<laughs> Florian looks at the knife with Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> um, eight. No. <Nope>. Miss. <laughs> Um, no you, way against me or him. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that you didn't actually miss. You actually cut it, but its yes. bark is so thick against your knife that you did not okay. have an impact. Which then brings us to Lark. All right. <laughs> I will uh, point at this, this big tree. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I'll, I'll say... Uh, what if this is my new look? I'm, I'm getting... It's a good look. <laughs> it's a good look. good look. It's a very good look. Greetings. Replacement you look like it, You look like one of the nobles in Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. With their fancy you, you, wardrobe you, you look like and accessories. A, just a, an aggressively modernist fashion designer. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to the DM screen. I like the same and excessively modernist. <laughs> what if I just made a series of videos where I just analyze the usefulness of different DM screens? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that That'd might be, be a thing. All right, sorry, carry on. No, no, I, I have a fun DM screen. It's like exploration. So, so one of your it's... friends is very wounded, and there are two active tree things. This is not, this is, we got to stop this, and I'll cast Eldritch Blast at the big tree. Oh, yeah. Go to it. I think this might not do anything, because I think it might be resistant to magic. But, uh, okay, that's a 12 and 11. Wait, do I have... Modifiers. I, I sure hope so. 15 and 14. Yeah, the 15 and 14 both hit. Go okay. ahead. Great. Where's my idea? Last damage. 10 and 4. Do you agonizing? I, I do, which is my charisma, so plus 6. 20 total. Oh. You didn't add that in before? No. Well, then the big tree falls. Yes. You kind of sunder it down the middle and it sort of cracks the sound of cracking wood and it collapses, fortunately, away from you guys. Um, there is but one left, which brings us to you. I'm going to grab it. Yes. <laughs> Fast is this a grapple, please? <laughs> Athletics? Track? Absolutely. Go ahead. You have advantage. You win. I mean, presumably. Yeah. I do win. I do win. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab it. You have successfully grappled. A blight. Has it been at the end of its turn yet? It's, it's like crush. wailing around. Just yeah. Grapple replaces an attack. You no, know, I know that. You can, yeah. you can bite, bite it. Bite yeah. it. You can consume it. Salad. <laughs> it also speaks Sylvan. Before I eat it, in Sylvan, what do you know about ghosts chasing me? Um, <laughs> I'm holding it, it and like shaking it in the air. <laughs> it, it's your response is money. like, eh, I, 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 I don't know. Ah. Where's my money, Lebowski? <laughs> yeah. Where's my money? Where's the it, money? It, it very much has just terror and fear and does not seem to know anything of value. I'm just going to smile and look over at Florida. Well, I, I don't think it knows anything. Well, it has to. It's a bush. I don't see how bushes are related to ghosts. Clearly, you haven't lived in the forest long enough. I you're in the you're still holding it, right? Yeah, I'm still holding on to it. It, it. It's and you guys are talking. Holding it above the ground. Are you talking in Sylvan or common? Common. Common. Okay, so it's it's like eh, eh, please let me go. Ah. <laughs> That's the bush for us. Ah. <laughs> we ah. It's, it's, it's a bush wearing like like the round no, glass no, with the no, tape no, in the middle. Please and, like, let me. <laughs> okay, okay, but hey, hey, but, Ver hey Vermont, you, you want a friend? However. That's Vermont a, peeks up now. Tell, tell Vermont and, and kind of looks at the blights. <laughs> I know and it's what, like. I should give it see, I, I know what blights are. Mm -hmm. Blights are like vampire plants. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's no good. It's no good. Exactly. They they I don't. don't think that's good. They're, they're like they're like anti nature. Oh. So I think I should club crush. Them. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 just cr like the wood splinters and it stops flittering around. I don't like. You have blights. successfully crushed it. Not a fan of it. Mm. Like there we I'm, go. I'm, I'm all one for for, for a, move, a moving plant. Th those are fun. Those are funny, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But like these are these are like th things that actively want to go like cause that good thing. Yeah. All right. All right yeah, I'll take your word for it. Okay. The Does forest anyone... returns to its normal sounds Ooh. after this oh, yeah, um, yeah, arrangement um, of of uh, lights has been kind of. Put to rest. There's light pieces everywhere. Being healed. 
Please do not resist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't resist. No, I'm not really damaging it too. I'm really curious. Um, unless. 16 points of. Thank unless. You. Unless. Um. I'm going to. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> as you guys are kind of standing the there, looking around, as I said, even though it's daytime, the lighting is kind of a dusky sort of look. Um, but you have quelled this uprising of lights, so what do you do? I suddenly don't like plants a lot more. No, this is, most plants are great. You sure? I mean, I, I take I took a file. This one's pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Winnie has her arm out like this, and there's just like five, six birds just perching on her at the moment. Do I you, you need them. help with that? I, I really can't get rid of them. Lauren's gonna take his mm -hmm. quarter staff and like shoot them away. Yeah, all right. Don't. Like, they land back. They'll they'll leave in an hour. I cast speak with animals. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I, I have that. Can you leave, please? I mean, I, I prefer you're kind of... On the night the six moon rises! <laughs> <laughs> so, as you say that to her birds, yeah, to bird. you hear a voice responding to you. The rest of you guys just hear, like, a bird up in the tree. <clears throat> and it says, But why? This is my home. Now that's a person. That's like, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a living seer. I think you, I can, I can make you a home. The voice responding to you was a bird. Yeah. And it's about 20 feet up in the trees. I'm gonna start gathering twigs. When you look up to, I presumably you look up there. Yeah. So what you see is what looks like a very large um, hawk, but it's pure white. Like all of the feathers are white and its eyes are sort of a pink kind of red color. And this is, this is, I'm not talking to the... You were talking to the birds on her head, but what responded to you was a hawk about 20 feet up in a tree. Do you see that? Do I see it? You do. That's, that's what's I talking. I mean, it's a bigger bird. I mean, yeah, but that's what's talking. Are these animals? The birds that are on me? Are they animals? If they're not beasts, then No, they're technically they're not. Oh. Mm. But what responded to him is definitely a bird. Well, uh, do you want a home? I can make you one. This is my home. Can I make a really? This is not your home. What about these guys? Uh, the bird looks down at all of you. The, cr the, cr the crow ones, then. You notice the bird's eyes linger on Vermont. Hide, Hide Vermont. Vermont. Why Hide do you have a specter? Hide it. I, I'm, I'm saying this in the non speed of animals voice. Spectres are ferocious beasts. I, yeah, but this, this, I know, but he's funny. What's it saying? It's saying spectres are ferocious beasts. He is very ferocious. And then cool. taking Vermont out and like <laughs> holding like a cat. <laughs> the very hawk ferocious. Like, flaps his wings no, no, and like put that, put flutters that. up to a slightly higher branch. Put that down. Put that, oh. I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm going to put Vermont back on his shoulders and take out some of his. How many days has it been you since that Vermont we killed those factors? <laughs> um, several. Yeah, you're I'll carrying out a whole few. bunch of rotten meat. I'll take out a few of those limbs and give them, and see if Vermont will take them. A treat. He doesn't. Uh, well, just to throw them off into the forest. That'll be fertilizer for something. The hawk calls at you a couple times. Uh, hi. Um... So this, yeah, and I know it's not our home. We're, look, we don't actually have a home right now. We're kind of moving. We're just trying to get to the other side of the forest. Ah, this way. And it jumps up and starts flying east, right, uh, kind of like weaving its way. We're following the bird now. Huh? I, you, you heard me. I started running after the bird. Can I roll like a religion check or something? Is this bird like bad vibes? Sure. Make a roll. I trust. I trust. Can and I, make I trust a omens. True check. Yes. Is this is this bird good for? Hold on, wait. I'd like to say if if Winnie has such a distrust of birds, why would we? It is these trust. birds in particular. Okay, it's 18. not like. Oh, nature check would reveal that. Are albino hawks a possibility here? Yes. Are they extremely rare? Yes. 
I trust birds that are also. What was the result of your roll? Speak a nine for religion. Mm, you're like I don't know. Anybody else seeking to glean any insights? Um. No, I think I'm just gonna run after the bird. Okay. I'm following. You guys follow? Are y'all following? I think so. So the bird happens to be I will, heading. I will actually, I will follow cautiously. Did we take a short rest, by the way? Did you? No, not yet. Uh, could you? Hey guys. Whoa. If we get to a stop in the <laughs> Is part. the warlock out of spell slot? I am. Mm-hmm. Someone use all their, all their little, uh. Just to give you I some did, sense yes. of time. And you guys traveled. It. For about two hours mm, okay. before no, this encounter. One. So it's it's literally just late morning. We can stop at like noonish. Take a bit of a rest. All right. Okay. Continuing to travel, you guys follow the hawk for a ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, another couple hours go by. Let's say it's approximately noon. The hawk stops. And um, I, I, how long does your spell last? Ten minutes. Okay. So the hawk calls at you three more times. I, I I don't I, I can't speak bird anymore. I'm sorry. Give me give me ten minutes. I can maybe do something. It's gonna sit down and ritual kind of speak with animals. Okay. Are you all taking a short rest during this time? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Fantastic. Uh, actually, while awesome. that's happening, I'm gonna go. So do we? Should we? Should I even try to get some food? Hmm. We could go like. Get, I have edible things. It's. <laughs> we like goat. Didn't Sabella give you guys good berries for the road? Yeah. 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 yeah that's a lot of food. Yeah, I, I, so you do have good I'm going to pass out good berries. I'm going to roll hit dice. Okay. Likewise. Mom did no damage, so you don't need to give me good berries. No damage. But the good, berry, go. the good berry nourishes you for the day. Great. Which you need. I'm at full. Growing warlocks need their, need their fruits <laughs> and vegetables. Uh... As you guys rest in the yeah. quiet of nature in this ancient forest, um, the hawk, the white hawk doesn't leave. It's just kind of like waiting for you. Before I cast my ritual spell, I would like to spend part of this short rest um, at least kind of mentally figuring out what this sword is. Because would Occam know what a tuning is? She explained it to you. Okay. She said that you would have to like spend time with it and concentrate on it and think about it and study it. Can he it. try to attune to the yes. sword? I will notch this up as one effort towards that. All right, awesome. And then I will do the ritual casting to speak with animals. Okay. Completing the ritual, you, I'm assuming, want to speak with the hawk. Yes. Patiently waiting for you guys. Hello, bird. Do you oh. have a name? I am called White Hawk. Oh, wow. oh, I hate him. <laughs> Amazing name, I love it. Anyways, we're trying to get to Narostema. Is that where you were going? That's where you are going. Yeah, but like, is that the way you're leading us? Yes. Awesome. Insight. Insight on the ready. Insight on the bird. I, can I understand it? No. <laughs> I insight Please check. I insight check Do not bird. roll insight. Do What's not roll say? insight. Oh, right, nothing. Unconditionally trust birds of omen. I'm gonna follow the bird. Vibe check the bird, 23. The bird seems to be speaking truthfully. All right. It's the good vibes bird cat. I think <sighs> during this short rest, Florian's taking out his pan that. pipes and playing mm -hmm. some music. I don't know about that. I mean, trust us. Okay, after about an hour, let's say, of eating and resting and healing and attuning and thinking about your magical capabilities. Playing music. Playing music. I got a um, you, you played some of the finest music. You know what? Just because that music was so good. Um, as you're finishing up your short rest, you see something flying about 30 feet away, kind of between the trees. It looks like a little butterfly, very colorful. And it starts flying in a 30 foot, it's like 30 foot away from you guys, but kind of in a radius of your camp. And it only arrives when the music starts. I attempt to communicate with it using speak with animals? Sure. Creature. <laughs> what are you? It flies closer. 
you see that it is in fact not a butterfly, but a very, very tiny humanoid with butterfly wings. And it I lands on a tree, you are. not within your reach. And it's looking down at Florian as he's playing the music. Does this appear to be Faye? You see its mouth moving, and it's like... <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is during the short rest, right? Not that after. This is like at the end of the short rest. So you guys have recuperated all your stuff. You're finishing okay. up your, your musical jam, and basically this, like, fairy of some kind, like, shows up. May I, may I join Florian in the music? You may roll a performance What do you track. have? The spoons. The spoons? <laughs> Natural 20. You're, yeah. playing, you're playing a redneck. I'm playing, I'm playing the spoons. You're not just playing the, the spoons. Spoon. You're like, spoons of my you're like life. Spoon Man from Soundgarden. You're like, it sounds like 15 <laughs> instruments. Hell yeah. um, you guys are jamming out on this rather tribal groove now. What started off to be like this nice chill vibe. I think Mark vibe. is just like yeah. <laughs> this in a corner. Does Occam and, try to sing? And I'm going to have you roll. Occam, you know what, Ellen? Occam roll, has the equivalent of Mongolian throat Roll singing. the most underused die of all time, yes. the D12. Oh, I love roll it. Josh, Josh, Occam has Mongolian throat singing, like but, but, but lion roars. You. That's what it is. Oh, one. Uh, one more fairy shows up. Woo! Can I attempt to join in this this group? Uh, you wait, may roll a performance. Can I add guidance <laughs> to the 220 roll? Yes. For more. Can I add guidance to my roll? Three. Guidance. Can you add guidance to me? Yes. Thank you. So I rolled a four, technically. <laughs> That's not the best. Did you ruin the jam, Josh? No, that no, 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 no. 14. Oh, that's not bad. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right so. Right. So I'll say that, let's say, by the end of this jam session, there are six fairies who have kind of gravitated towards your little part of this camp that you've made. And they are very <laughs> vibrant, like I said, like kind of vibrant butterfly wings. Um, and at a certain point, uh, they kind of circle up as you're finishing up. And they're sort of flying around in a circle, almost like they're dancing, like aerial dancing around in a circle <laughs> kind of above you guys. <laughs> and you notice like several of them are like, they seem to be like dancing and, and gesticulating and, and making gestures and, and poses and stuff while they're flying. On us. You <laughs> go ahead and make an arcana show. <laughs> I, I will not. I always trust strange I, tr I, trust, uh, I trust them. Always, I trust, always them. trust strange I, I got what seven. Like creatures. The gliblies from All right, smiling I would friends. like everyone to please make me a d20 roll <laughs> and just let's oh. say add in your intelligence modifier, or subtract it uh, if you're I dumb. I lost the dial, get it later. <laughs> subtract it if you're Yeah, you're going to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh. Ah! That is a six. That's a perfectly even. A ten. Twelve. Are you just <laughs> voluntarily rolling. failing? I'm just like, wait, you're, hold on, what? I'm the only you're, character you're voluntarily with a positive charisma modifier. Intelligence Wait, 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 Smartest party member. Three. Twelve. All right, all of you dummies are entranced with the fairies. Yay! Yeah. Um, they each ask you to leave a gift for the fairy queen. I was gonna do that already. Yeah. Oh, I was already gonna leave something. Oh, and you will comply with this request oh, no. Mr. because I you will. failed your saving. Mr. Allen. I will comply, Glenn. Florian. I will comply. Florian was gonna all right, do let's this. do this in an orderly fashion. On my left, Florian, what is your gift to the fairy queen? Florian was gonna do this even without making the save. He was gonna do this before he left. He's gonna take a daisy out of his hair and he's gonna put it on the ground. You take off one hit point. You are slapped. That is not good enough. <laughs> it's not good enough. What? Uh, one of the fairies shoots you with a tiny toothpick of an arrow. What? That's low. You cannot defend against it. It's like, it's like a acupuncture needle. Wait, can I? Can one I of them flies up to you and in Sylvan says, do better. And then I, they go Mr. over Allen, to you. I have a very important question. Can I deflect missiles? Though? Yes, God damn it. Because I you're it stupid. Out of the <laughs> Fine, you're like, ping. But they're like, better gift. You. I will produce the greatest gift that Occam can imagine. He's going to pull out an entire goat human corpse. And a goat human corpse? <laughs> yeah, remember the goat, the goat creature man. we killed? I'm oh, putting yeah. that down in front of them. Oh. It's been several days. I don't have a refrigerator. You notice that they like hover above it and they're like, hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> and then they go to you. Vinny's gonna pull out from a very small bag a wind chime that has like five or six little um, tubes that all have like very like ornately like ingrained like flowers and things. I'm just gonna put it down. They love that. They work together to pick it up and they go up into one of the higher branches of the tree and hang it. And it begins to catch the wind and make chiming sounds. So, so Mr. Allen, I have a small little idea for a, a funny joke, but I'm concerned that the consequences of my actions uh, will come to <laughs> Why would you ever be concerned about that? Never be concerned about <laughs> okay. the consequences so, of your actions. Uh, theoretically, um, if my gift were to be, because Lark has a uh, general disdain for uh, organized government institutions. Yes. Uh, if my gift were to be a slap to the fairy, would that make me an enemy of the fey court? You know what? I will tell you this. You... You slap a fairy, it fucking dies. You, you, <laughs> yeah. You feel like, number one, in no way, shape, or form are these fairies anyway an organized form of government. Okay. <laughs> they are the most chaotic and probably good, but chaotic creatures that you've encountered. Okay, then I take back what I said. If Lark's gift were to be uh, a slap to the face because she has a general disdain for uh, being charmed in any way, shape, or form. No, you feel, like I said, you really genuinely want what to leave a gift. What if I just hate fairies? Yes. <laughs> Inside of you, you're seething, what if, and you're, oh no, no, what if I'm you're like, what you're like, I hate fairies so no, much, no, no, but no, I is, love these fairies. That's is, the thing. These, these fairies so, are. I don't exception. hate all fairies. I hate, never said that. I, I hate these fairies. I, I hate fairies. Not racist. Just don't like them. They come back glass. around to you after going back to Harris. They go to you. Uh, Gift. Hi. Right. Um, I have this belt that is has it's the buckles made of a deer antler. And it has, uh, and it's made of it's made of deer skin. Yeah. Okay. Leave it. Okay. Is that my belt? I have a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple belts. Yeah. Well, I that's that's a trophy from an that's animal. Amazing. How do you keep your? They fly back <laughs> around to Lark. I, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Lark. Lark. We'll take that potion. Oh no, I don't think so. Better give us something else then. All Lark. right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I have an idea. He's gonna reach into his bag and pull out a handful of. Goat intestine. Lark. I think I can figure Lark. something no. out. Hey, Lark. Oh, Lark. Right. I think this. I... I pull out a bear trap. I've never <laughs> been in a oh, situation. Yeah, one of those too. I we all have bear traps. I, think, I thought we already talked about this. What if I give you this tiny little totem that I carved? Because I have woodcarver's tools and I definitely spend time doing that. Okay. They take the carving. Right. <laughs> all right, now get out of here. Okay, all right. <laughs> So I, I no longer have a trophy from an animal. Yay! And then they take your trophies and they fly away. How do they get the body of the creature? <laughs> uh, it just 25 split. mage hands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. There were only six fairies. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? They leave the stupid body and they take all the other crap. Yes! Uh, take the body. I think, I think you don't have to take leave it. it. You have we're to leave. leaving it to feed the protector. Who? The protector. Better get out of here. He's coming for his food. Hi. All right. That sounds nice. I love well, little guy. They fly away. I can, I think and after about a minute of them being gone from your presence, oh, we're leaving. We're you guys, going. you we're guys going. feel like you somehow your mind was changed and altered in some way. And Lark, now you hate fairies even more <laughs> than you previously did. I have no qualms against that. That was that funny. That was fun. Yeah. Um, oh, you continue. I guess I can't eat that. White now. Hawk starts flying east. I'm, I'm glad. I'm We're glad, following. I'm glad to. It's. A, I'm a little sad. I lost one of my arts and crafts projects, but I'm also very happy that, was that someone else was able to uh, have it. You know. Yeah. I guess I'll have to get started on a new wood carving project. You guys walk for you another another I do. two hours, and now it is you, Ellen, who will roll the d20 of matching uh -oh. properties. Oh, four. If you roll low, I know how to solve this, guys. Power. Six. Nothing happens. I know that you roll low. <laughs> I know your secrets. After another two hours, it is now four in the afternoon, and it is definitely darker under the canopy. White Hawk brings you to a stream 
not huge like a river, maybe about 15 feet across, five feet deep, and, uh, and stops. And he caws at you guys, and he looks back across the stream, like eastward, and he caws. And he just waits for you guys. He does not fly across the stream. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we, uh, we can't talk to you anyway. No, can we? Well, I, I could sit down and do the thing hold for on, 10 minutes. Hold on, I, I, got, I, I got this. Ah. You point over the river? Yeah. You point yourself and over the river. It's like, ah, ah. That sounds good. All right, yeah. All right. Walk over the river. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if the bird can understand common, but caw once for yes, caw, caw twice for no. Caw. I caught once. All right. All right, so how, how wide is this river? 15 feet. Well, you know what we did last time? We found a river. What did we do, last, right. did we do last time? Line up. It's going to start just rolling on his shoulder. Huh? Oh, you'll see. First. Are you throwing me across? Yes. Sure. All right. Um, you know, I can I can take a Vermont with me. Can you? Thank you. Where did I write down your passive perception anyway? Mm. I got a 13. 14. Uh, note. Does anybody have over a 15 right now? Me? Okay, fine. Um, the water looks mm -hmm. like it's clear, drinkable water. Yes. I'm gonna fill a canteen with it. You see fish occasionally moving through it. Mm -hmm. Yes. A little bit of algae towards the bottom. You know your usual river stuff. Yes. Can I grab a fish? While I'm filling up my water, can I just go? Yeah. Okay. You go down to the river, you start <coughs> filling up your water skin, make a roll to grab the fish. I just dex. Um, on arm strike. Yes, let's do that. Just a uh, dex. Uh, yeah, just a dex check. Ooh, that's good. That's a 22. You rock it out. You, you thunderously, like, pierce the water, grab the fish, pull it back, and then roll initiative. <laughs> oh, bad fish. I was bringing this to go uh, to coax Vermont to not eating me. Everybody rolls initiative because that's bad happen. river. Bad river. Bad river. All right. Anybody Good over fish. a twenty? Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Wow. Thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 10. Hey, Aqua, how's it going? Nine, eight, 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 seven, six, five, seven. four, three, okay. So you're reaching in, you grab the fish, you're like, yes, and then the water itself comes out and plunges towards you. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. One of these strange water-shaped tendrils flies right over your head as you duck it. The other one slams into you. How do I fight water? You take Ghost arms? 10 damage. Oh, yeah. 10 bludgeoning damage. Ow. <laughs> Ellen, you're up. Good news, I have the ghost punching ability. This is true, you can kill ghosts. Punch um, ghosts. What am I going to do? This is the question. Um, I'm gonna cast Bless um, at second level on all of us. Mm. Awesome. What does that do? It gives us each a you D4. A D4 on your rolls. attack rolls and saving throws. There we all go. of them. How long does that last? Uh, until I lose concentration. Oh, good. So all I have to do is disrupt your concentration, and then it's off. Good luck. You can try. We'll see. All right, Cat. The river has come alive, and it's attacking Harris. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Whoa. Are you targeting the uh, water? The water? water. <laughs> Specifically the. <laughs> Specifically the tendrils of water that are punching yeah, the and tendrils, grasping out. The tendrils. Okay. Yes. What are you hitting with the water? Right. What do you water. got? The water. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, that's a nat one and a three. Okay, <laughs> re-roll the nat hit. one on this table. If you roll over a 10, you hit Harris. Please hit Harris, please. Yes! Yeah. All oh. right, Harris, roll damage for Harris. Deflect missiles! Good luck. It's not a missile. It, it, it is. It is. It's an Eldritch Blast. It's any... Uh, let me read the ability. You sure about that? Let me read the ability. Oh, for context, Tell me, me my damage. Bless looks like a bird. 
Um, five. <laughs> got a bird so oh no, it is a ranged plus. weapon attack. Plus. So that's, oh, that's no. two plus three, five. Okay, you take five force damage from an Eldritch Blast. Yay. Eldritch Blast. Eris, you're up. Uh, this is the second time I've been hit by one of my friends. It's okay. <laughs> they, that's just how they show their love. Uh, okay, so I see a water elemental. Or maybe, I don't know what it is. Water weird. Time to punch water. Uh, I have liquid. I will summon <laughs> a water. Weird. No, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna summon my ghost arms because my normal fists count as magical for the purposes of overcoming resistance and yes, immunity. Yes, they do. Let's Good go. job. Good uh, thinking, Harris. So I'm. You know what, Harris? In fact, because you've been the target of many abuses and misfires, I'm gonna give you an inspiration for not being dumb. Yay. Uh, I'm gonna oh make my attacks. Three of them spending a key point to do that. Um, so this is gonna be you have a D four. Oh, yeah, yeah, I added that. Um, so the lowest is gonna be a nine. Nope, miss. Uh, it's followed by a twenty three. Yeah. Okay. That'll so do. So the it. other two hit. So that's gonna. So be. describe the damage type. This is uh this is just normal bludgeoning. But it is magical for the purposes of overcoming Got resistance it. and immunity. And so that's going to be a total of 16 bludgeoning. Oof. And I... Man. That does a hurt. Okay, Occam. Uh, Occam's fought magic things a few times now. Mm -hmm. And he's fair that maybe his, maybe his big old bad axe isn't the best thing to fight them. He's going to take out the sword again. He's going to... It's magic. It's magic. Uh, he's gonna rage, and then he's gonna make two attacks on this kind of like water thing that's attacking um, Florian. Here, you are attacking the tendrils. Go ahead. I am, yes, Rickles attack. Uh, okay, that will be a sixteen. No, yep. a eighteen. Yep. And a above a twenty. Okay. Roll me your damage. Roll Let's me your damage. Decent. Okay. Um, 19 magical slashing. Hey. Total? Yes. All right. You are inflicting suffering and pain on the tendrils. Yes, it's water. One of the tendrils collapses and just shh, like splashes water all over Harris. Um, that brings us to the top. Another tendril shoots out from the river. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Make an athletics check for it. Oh, oh, athletics. Oh, no, I didn't summon the arms. Oh, that's uh, guy. <laughs> okay, athletics. Natural 20, 23. You win. One of the water tendrils comes out and tries to grasp you, and it's like almost like an octopus tentacle, and it, it goes around you, but you like flip back and wrestle yourself free from its grasp. The other one attacks you. Is that a... 16. It's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dang. Low AC Lawrence. 14, so that's only 7. Cold or bludgeoning? Bludgeoning. Okay. Um, Water damage. Because you raged. All right. You are up, Winifred. I'm up. This is amazing. Um... Stab the water. <laughs> Why? I'm Specifically, determined. you're not going down to the river to stab blindly into the <laughs> I'm river. Going to you're stabbing one of the two I tendrils want, attacking your friends. I okay. Want to Let hit. me know if you roll a net one. I want to hit. No, I rolled a 19. Ah, successoru. Is your item magic? No. <laughs> Fantastic. You slash viciously, and the water just kind of parts for you, and your blade goes through it, and it has a little speckle of dampness on it. Up next, we have Markoff. Hello. I blast within I'm 30, 30 feet of these two. That is my only thing. That's a, oh, that's a 10 and a 17. You cast spells. A 17 will hit, not the, the 10, though. Yeah, sure. Economy the just. Eldritch and the Blast. That's a 5 damage. Ah. If you have 10 bullets, you're not going to fire every single bullet. You're going to save them. You're going to use your knife for a bit. All right, this now brings Wonders. us to Florian of the Meadows. That's me. Uh, okay. I need, to, I need to use the bullets so, to heal you. That, yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to make three attacks. Okay. 
uh, which is going to be this die and this die. You were using your kung fu capabilities, which count as magical attacks? Correct. Uh, so that's going to be lowest, I think, is going to be a 14. Yeah. So it's 14 hit? Uh-huh. Okay, so all these hit. Uh, we love bless. Love bless. And so that's going to be... Uh, 22. Bludgeoning. And I'm just going to hit it three times with my, with my fists. Another tendril collapses. All right, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, Occam. There's still one tendril waving around violently. All right, and I'll make my, my attacks against it. With advantage. Uh, that was a, that first was one's going to be a miss. Um... Oh. What the fuck? None of these are all. No, that? bitches. Shut up. None. 16? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Shit. Yeah. 10. 10 with the magic sword doesn't kill the tendril. Damn. All right. Hey, Mr. Allen, just for like per mechanical purposes, does each tendril count as an individual creature? Mm. Does it? That's a good. <laughs> did you make an arcana question. check? I did not. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, 18. I'm rolling well. Seriously? Well, I rolled a 19, so it's okay. 18. Okay. You have heard of river spirits that are able to basically take over different things and use their properties. That's what you believe this is. All right. Awesome. And then it attacks you. Uh, uh, 14 and a 19. Uh, 14 will miss, 19 will hit me. Water, water, 9 damage. Oh. Um, I'm at 26. It's, it's your be, turn. Oh, it's my turn. I could be do, doing better, but that's fine. Could be doing better? Hmm. It's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna healing word. Florian? Yes. You get 6 hit points back. That is your bonus action. What would you like to do next? Oh, I do have an action, don't I? Stab. Do not, do I not stab. stab the water. I stab you the stab water. the water again. What if I crit, though? I don't crit on the water. <laughs> it's unfortunate. I would reward you with something, like some information. Yeah, you got to roll. Um, you swing out again. I'm helping. Lark, you are. it is your turn. Mm -hmm. On a crit, you I'm not, I'm not trying the very hard molecule. here. I'll just blast again. I catch the Adam's lacking. Okay, that's a 21, a natural, <laughs> and a 9. The 9 misses, the 21 blast hits. Blast away. 9 damage. 9 gets you up to 81, another tendril collapses. Florian. Okay, it's back to me. Oh, we're going fast. Okay. Um, Seems like every time a, a tendril collapses, a new one comes out. This is true. I'm going to dunk my head in the water. Into the river? Yeah. What's down there? All right. I will let you make a perception check at disadvantage. Wonderful. If you succeed, I will reveal something. That's a not one. Uh, plus six. The water seems totally normal to you. Okay, just to make sure, while I'm underwater, I do my bonus action, summon the astral arms. So any hostile creature within 10 feet of me will have to make a deck save or take 1d6 damage. OK, one makes, one doesn't. Uh, it will take five force damage. Meow, 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 meow. I don't You're up. OK. Oh, was, it, was, it, was it my action to make the check? Yeah. OK. How does Florian react to dunking and send him to the water? <laughs> uh, Florian seems fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Man. Like he looks like he just ran down to the creek and dunked his head in. He reacts the same as he does to. What everything. if we go under? I, I don't run think the any water of us try to go underneath the tent. Please, can't you not please make swim? that athletics check for me with advantage. <laughs> you're, you're not even you're swimming. Rage. You're just sprinting into the water. <laughs> oh, <that's not> right. <laughs> uh, I have 14. an idea. Fourteen. Fourteen. You you don't slip and fall in the mud, okay? <laughs> but you you dive into the water. And you're about halfway. No, you have pretty good movement. Yeah, you swim feet. across the creek. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're oh, soaking wet, so you just swam sick. across the creek. You get to the other mud bank. Which brings us to the you top of the order. You just gotta go under, guys. Yeah, of course. <laughs> if you're underwater, the water can't grab you. Oh. Except it... Oh, no. I need a D8. I got you. I have I a hate when lime I green things. D8. Okay. Except when you get to the other side, you are thwunked by a, a water tendril <laughs> for 13 points of blood. Oh, oh, which means you. you only take six. All right. Um, however, there's one tendril on the side that you guys are still on, wailing around. Yes. The other one looks like it hopped the other side of the river and is now attacking him. Yes. Now we go to Winifred. Okay, does it look like <clears throat> tendrils just keep popping up, right? They look like they can come from anywhere, apparently, it, because now they're 15 feet does away. Does it that there's like a central thing that they're um, You can make a perception from? check with disadvantage. Um, 21. That's a disadvantage? Oh, shit. Uh, 16. Well, no, that's 17. still... 17. That's, that's still pretty good. For the briefest of moment, you mm -hmm. see water within water. You ever seen, like, when somebody pours oil into water? Yes. Like, you see dense water. They put thick water. They put thick water. water. But the dense water. water is almost at the bottom, but it seems like it has little tendrils that reach out. Guiding bolts. On the thick water. Guiding bolt. I guiding proceed. bolt. The thick water, second level. Um, that's gonna be. I have a plus. 18 to hit. The 18 thick water? is a hit. What's the damage? Much. With a big damage. 46. Big numbers. That is the sound of many dice. Um, that's gonna be 18 points of Ooh. radiant damage. Is this the same the one thick, that I... To the thick water. So here's what happens. The, the very dense water disperses almost like... It kind of explodes underwater. Mm -hmm. Like it blows out underwater. And you see like a weird discombobulation and, and like deep underwater current, even though this is only like five feet deep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now... The tendrils just literally collapse and turn into normal water. Just psh, psh. I put I put my my bow away that I, I shoot my guiding bolts out of. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start crossing the river. Okay, isn't there still another one? Yeah. All right. She crosses the river. You're already <laughs> across. What do you do? I take out my fifty feet of hemp and rope. Well, okay. Can you not swim? I'll come catch. I can carry you across. I'm in I'm here. I'm gonna try and throw the the one one side of the rope to Occam. You succeed. I don't need to roll. No, it's 15 feet. Hold on. Even the most inept person could yep. throw and a piece don't of rope over go. 15 feet. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna now you around. can make that athletics check. <laughs> okay. I'll give you advantage on it because Occam's roping you. <laughs> no, keep keep monologuing. What are you gonna do? Uh, I was gonna uh, pull Lark across, uh, like thank just you for that. Oh, advantage! Shitty. <laughs> that is a uh, fourteen and a mat one. Mm -hmm. So you make that. it. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you do to get across? Oh, I can just run across. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like in the banks. Uh, my friends are on the other side. Is there still water tendrils here? No. No. Oh. They all collapsed. Oh, okay. I thought it was after two, the guiding bolt. All of it collapsed. Oh, one. Yeah. Um, I dash and then s I don't need to spend the key, but I move ninety feet in one turn and I go across the river. That's fine. <laughs> Did just Occam just roll one, one either athletics or acrobatics check. If, if you I, roll, if, if you roll in that one, a funny thing will happen. If I move one hundred and eighty feet, do I not have to do this? No. I guess it's a three. Okay, you succeed. Whitehawk is still on the other side. Mm. I'm going to wave and to he, him. He just watches you. You wave to him? Yeah. He's like, ah! And then he turns around and flies back into the deep oh. forest. Yep. I like that guy. You have crossed the creek. All right. I'm going to hand Can anyone gonna hand drive Vermont. me off? I'm going to hand Vermont mm -hmm. the fish. Oh, Vermont takes it gladly. I mean, like, that's a snack. Vermont, like, you hear his bone jaw unhinge, and it's like, he's like, crunch, crunch, done. It's like two bites, and it's start gone. Druid crafting little gusts of air at Occam to try to 
dry him off. Blow dry him oh, yeah. off. You are deeply he's a, soaked. Yeah. No, he's a cat. He's just gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm fluffing him up. Um, as you guys have now crossed the other side of the creek, presumably you continue heading eastward. Mm -hmm. Somebody with actual survival proficiency, just That's make me, me a check. Ah. Bless you. Sorry. Make me a check. I'm sorry, microphone. 18. You succeed. Oh, You're I like, ah, proficiency. east. Not only east, but I found a path. You guys start kind of following these just natural sort of deer paths and stuff. You, you make your way through, and as you are emerging from the ancient forest, it's about 8 p.m. You, see, you like literally see like it's dark up ahead, but you get out of the ancient forest. And before you kind of unfolding on a very gradual descent, like a like one and a half percent grade, but you know, kind of where you exit the ancient forest, looking east is just kind of open plains, tall grasses, Occasional trees here and there, birds, you know, bugs, that kind of stuff. No signs of civilization or settlements. And from here, you can't even really see like the coast yet, but you emerge into the, this kind of open prairie. I, I think say this is a... we're at the And woods. the sun is basically set for you guys because the sun sets beyond the mountains. Right. So it's, it's at this point basically dark. So what would you like to do? Are you? I say we 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 sleep here for tonight. Yeah. I heard you said a Florian. <laughs> okay. I think it looks like we're out of the woods. Yeah, but um, cha. Okay, I, I'll I'll take. Do we, do we want to take watches. I'll take first watch. Yeah, right. I think we want to take watches at the edge yeah. of the forest. Okay. I'll take last watch. Who's on first watch? Who's on second watch? I'm who's on, on third watch? I'm on first, first, second, third. It's like third. third. Oh. I, Whatever. All right, I slept through the whole night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. All right, so first watch. Uh, What'd you roll? 12. Oh, good. Make Wait, a perception no. check for I'm me. I'm going to do something before that okay. that'll help me with my watch. It's dark. I should ask this question. What sort of encampment are you making here? Do you guys have tents, bedrolls? Bed are you going to have a fire going? Fires are stupid and lame. Fires are stupid and lame. Fires dry me off. No, but also the druid craft. Okay. Okay, so no we, fire. I no think. Fire. Do you have tents or bedrolls? Some of us have bedrolls. I think Florian. I think we're all used to sleeping in the woods. Yeah. I, I think, oh, fine. I think a lot of us can just kind of sleep on the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a bedroll. I don't think I use it. Florian's before taking. As, as, as a good bedroll. As it gets darker. As it gets darker. Florian's gonna spend a key point, and what looks like a, a spectral green ghostly helmet with large wooden antlers reaching out from his head is going to appear over him. And I have dark vision for 120 feet. Wow. How uh, long does that last? It. Forever. No. Um, it lasts 10 minutes. Okay. But I'm going to do it repeatedly. Okay. So on your first watch, you're going to blow through all your key points yeah. and continuously have dark vision. Yeah. Wise move. Because about an hour into your watch, you see someone approaching from the east. You see. At first, you kind of see like just prairie grass, like tall grass moving, and then you see like what looks like a humanoid man form emerging from the prairie grass and like just not running, not jogging, just like walking towards your camp. How far away is he? Well, by the time you're able to see details, he's 120 feet. That's fair. Uh... As he merges, like he as he like moves into your 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 purview, um, he appears to be like a normal Fengari man, um, although dressed rather primitively. Like he's wearing like deerskin like vest and like kind of like pants that look like maybe they were sewn together from a variety of different skins and boots that are also kind of like fur-lined and skin boots. Um, he does not seem to be wielding any weapons. He looks like he has like kind of like long dark hair. You can't tell if it's black or brown because dark vision doesn't give you a lot of color distinguishing features. Uh, this, and he looks is, like he has like a does. very full kind of beard. 
Uh, this technically does because it's not it's less dark, it's not dark vision. The exact wording on the ability is you treat darkness as bright light. Oh, all right. So he has like a full head of like brown hair with like a little bit of gray in the sides, a full brown beard with a little bit of gray kind of speckled in between. And like I said, he's wearing like a deer skin vest, hide pants and boots. You do not see any weapons or in fact, even like backpacks or other supplies. I think as soon as he's he just walking within, slowly towards you guys. I think once he gets within 60 feet of us, I'm going to use another ability from the same thing, the same helmet thing, the helm of the astral self. I'm going to basically, I point at him and then I can speak and only he can hear it. So I don't wake up anyone else. And he can respond in the same way. Okay. Uh, I, excuse me? Yes. Uh, he stops and he like looks around. I, and he looks back towards you guys. Hi. Um, I'm just letting you know that I'm, I'm just keeping watch here over my, over my camp. How are you? May I join you? I'm going to roll insight to see what this guy's, if this man has ill intentions. Please do. I, all right. And I have advantage because of the helmet. That is, this size. 24. Okay. It's, he is very hard to read. But because of the extensive success of your role, it doesn't seem like he has ill intentions, but you also wouldn't be surprised that if you tried anything with him, he would snap to immediately murdering you. Like, he seems like he's guarded, very guarded. Like, and not like guarded specifically because of you. This guy seems like he's guarded all the time, like 100% poker face all the time. All right. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome to sit down. Just uh, you know, uh, try, try to uh, try, try not to you know bother anyone. We're just we're, just, we're we just got out of the forest. We're at, we've uh, gotten a few few tussles. He nods, and then he starts walking towards your camp again. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm gonna leave him undisturbed. So, he's not trying to sneak. He just walks like. And you know, naturally, like cracks over a few twigs here and there. Um, he gets within, you know, maybe fifteen feet, and he looks around the camp, like everyone. He says, "You were in the forest." He's whispering, but you can hear him. Yeah. What did you encounter? Are you from the forest or from beyond? Oh, we're not from the forest. Well. I'm from A4, it's not this one. Um, we encountered a few things, we've been in there for a while. Uh, there was a wa some water uh, spirits, I think, that we fought over the river down there. Uh, we encountered some birds, some fairies. Uh, we also encountered some blights, plant blights. Mm. That was, that was t just today. There's a lot of ogres. Uh, not not in the forest. It's just um, it. Since you had that extensive insight roll, you notice that his poker face, uh, his mask comes off when you mention ogres. You notice his eyes kind of go wide and his his jaw kind of clenches. Yeah, we we fought a few ogres um, like uh, a day or two ago. They were how many of you? Us, us, us four, there was five ogres and a hill giant, and they actually had like armor and weapons and stuff. It's unusual, yeah. But um, there was a whole like army of them. And the... You notice his eyes once again go wide, and he's like, army. They might be coming here, which is sort of why we're here to warn the people in the nearest. 
Do lots of part, we, we, get, we have some stuff. Did they follow you into the forest? Uh, they tried, but they didn't get very far. They got away. He looks, you see his eyes glance over to the sleeping Josh. He, he says, where does he come from? Oh, Akam? Akam's, uh... Is he one of the Stratos? He's not Stratos. He doesn't like those guys. He's, uh... We all sort of, we're all, we're all, we're all kind of wild in this group. We, we like, we, he, we, he looks we across the group and he, he, he points to Winnie and he goes, is that one yours? Huh? Is she yours, your mate? No. <laughs> no he says, hmm. And then you notice that he looks at uh, where Lark has kind of like curled up and he says, and you notice he kind of like starts to slowly move towards Lark. You notice he's just kind of looking. And again, now that he turns his back to you, no weapons. And he says, and then he turns back to you, he walks closer to you, and now he comes sort of uncomfortably close, like within three feet of you. And he says, where did you find that one? And he gestures back over his shoulder towards Lark. Oh, well, uh, the three, three of these fellows actually met up with me. I don't, I don't know what they did. But... <laughs> Winnie might know something. She's our next watch. She's that one. My name's Florian, by the way. Well met, Florian. Who are you? I am Afarak. Afarak. That's a fun name. That he I turns and starts walking of. away. Like, literally, as you're saying, like, oh, Afrak, that's a... And he turns and starts walking away back towards the prairie. Just, like, like with no social graces, no acknowledgement, nothing. He just literally turns and starts walking away. I wave to him, and then I'm going to continue my watch. Okay. Errol. Oh, creature. I hate him. <laughs> um, who was on second watch? Okay, so this will this will be fun. When he, when he gets up, I'm going to tell Winnie about. Well, Winnie Rock. doesn't just magically wake up. No, I, You're I, going to I, wake I, up. I poke Winnie. her with a stick. All right, let's roll. <laughs> uh, this could be important. Hi. Um, mm -hmm. Hi. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, oh, there's right. a guy. Uh huh. Yeah, he, I still have like this giant green horned helmet. Oh. Uh, That's nice. There was a guy. Uh -huh. uh, his name, uh, name was Afrak, he's from Gari, he came over, he just started asking about oh, about what we were doing in the forest and uh -huh. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, started pointing at you guys, asking where you were from. I don't uh -huh. know much, he left. All right. Um, he's pretty weird. Sounds like it. I'll watch out for him? I, I don't he didn't have any weapons on him or anything. He All seemed, right. He seemed pretty concerned about Lark and the ogres. I told him what we found in the forest, by the way. Yeah, okay. That's all, and I fall asleep instantly. I just... <laughs> okay, you were sleeping, mm -hmm. you were awake. Mm-hmm. Good, make a perception check. Tell me what you're doing during your watch. I'm... Oh, that's... Wait, wait. It's a 13 on perception. Um, ooh, she's just kind of looking around. Um, she'd probably take out, like, her tinkerer's tools at some point, make a couple things, but still, like, looking up, like, every couple... Okay. To, you know. Do you have night vision or a dark moon? No. no. Okay. So it's you. You basically just have moonlight. I mean, you have yeah. like fifteen foot visibility. Yeah. That's why I needed the helmets. Can I see the PHP? Two hours pass by uneventfully. Yes. But at the beginning of your final hour of your watch. Yes. Make another perception check. Mm. Better not be this guy. He's again. gonna be looming over me. This fucking guy. Oh, this fucking guy. Um, twenty-five. Okay, you hear something coming towards you, just slowly. Seems to be kind of coming from the east. Turn. About twenty-five feet away. Mm hmm You see a form standing out there. Um. Ah, fuck. Off, off rock. I'm gonna There's write down no his name so I don't forget. His name is Authorock. No response. <laughs> I wave. You see the form turn around and walk away. I, uh, I 
get up. I, <laughs> I can't, like, I'm walking to the edge of camp. Hello? <laughs> nope. nope. Keeps walking. Uh, good for him. That's great. I thought we were displaying antisocial behavior. <laughs> you go back to your camp? Yeah. Okay. The last hour passes relatively uneventfully, and I assume you wake up Occam for third watch. Occam. <coughs> yeah, hi. There's a... Okay, it's your turn for watch. There's a weird guy named... Just off a rock? Who's, like, walking around our camp? I don't know. Um, if you see him, maybe wake one of us up. Don't eat okay. him. <laughs> but, but, okay. Okay. All, right. All right. Makes just, sense. Just, okay. <laughs> Occam. Do you have dark vision, Occam? <laughs> Do you have dark vision? I have 60 feet of dark vision. I also have eagle sight, which does not impose disadvantage on perception checks made in dim light. I'm not sure that if it's Okay, go ahead and make here. that perception check with your super vision. It's <laughs> a one. Oh, it's a one. Okay. Them, you can see pretty clearly, or at least certainly better than most. Mm -hmm. Um. About an hour before dawn, so you, you like your shift goes uneventfully for a couple hours. About an hour before dawn, mm -hmm. you see a figure moving again towards your camp. Uh, he walks out of the tall grass and kind of stops. So, is there light yet or no? Um, no, nah, this is still before dawn. So your your eagle vision just perceives a shadow at this point because you could. Um. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would like to say during my watch, I am trying to kind of focus on the uh, the sword a little bit more, but not like fully devout my okay. attention to it. Okay, I'll add a second notch to that um, attunement. Yeah, I'll just kind of recognize that that's probably awful rock. <laughs> <laughs> and go back to the sword. Okay. He walks closer. He goes another 100 feet. Mm -hmm. So now he's maybe 50 feet away. Can I get any, any features? You can start to make out a little more. Mm -hmm. Basically kind of matches the description, the very limited description that was handed down from Florian to Winnie to you. Mm -hmm. He looks like a tall, well-built human man with, you know, no weapons, no armor, nothing like that. He waits. Let him approach further. He approaches. Now he gets within about 30 feet of the camp. Mm -hmm. And he's just looking at you. Just looking. I'm gonna try to meet where I believe his eyes are and just kind of. Yo, you can see him. Yeah. He's in your dark vision range. How is he standing? Is he standing? He's, he visited... is standing in like a relaxed posture. Relaxed. Yeah. This is more of a question of, I I think me and uh, I'm somewhat familiar with the Stratos and I've kind of seen how they stand. And I've also seen how kind of people of that I'm more uh, well versed with like our parties, especially more like less civilized people. On what side of that scale is he on? Does he appear to have been? He is standing in a relaxed yet very confident posture. Mm -hmm. Occam kind of just looking at his sword will. Can I help you? He begins walking towards you at the same very slow pace. When he gets about 10 feet away, he looks at you Ogres. Yeah. He looks down where Florian is sleeping. He says, that one said that you saw ogres. Hundreds. Armor. Yep. Giants, Big. too. A few of them. Moving where? Uh. You saw them in the forest or the valley? Valley. Moving south towards Ohiro? Like a history check. <laughs> Maybe a five. Well, you were in the valley. Yep. To the west is the mountains, the east is the woods. They came from the north. Yeah. So they were moving. Probably south, I think. Oh, I don't remember. It was Did a, they follow you into the forest? Um, a little ways. I'd left eventually. Went back to south. You uh, 
on You notice his eyes. Can't make an inside check. Eight. His eyes kind of are not nervously, but just almost systematically darting between you and then the three sleeping people. You a uh, big hunting guy? I hunt for food. Why do you not sleep with a fire? This is Why? strange. Because smoke. I don't like how it smells. <laughs> he, he just, you see, you see him kind of shrug. <laughs> he says, he, he says, and he looks down at Florian, he says, that one said that you are not Stratos. No, I hate the Stratos. They're awful. He says, what tribe did you walk with? And you notice that he used the past tense of did, not do you. He says, what tribe did you walk with? What, I know the name of that tribe? You do. Now, this is, this is just a, I might be a little stupid. Do you want me to make a name for that real fast, or? Is if you don't have one, I have one. You should make your own name. If it's stupid, I'll negate it, mm -hmm. and then I'll give you a better name. The Bob Marleys. <laughs> no. Do not name them the, do not um, name them the Bob Marleys. Something about razors. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's really funny. Bob Marley's razors. Jo Josh Ockham of Razors. <laughs> Razor Clan? Is this Warrior Cats? It's, it's, ra up. it's Razor, yeah, but it has apostrophe, apostrophe between the Z and the O. Yeah. Resort clan. The resort. Oh, come on. <laughs> Say it, Josh. You got something better? Um, this, this is a question for you. <laughs> you got something better? How are tribes typically named? Like lean in tribes? Because of the Stratos, that would be a tribe, quote unquote? No. The no. Stratos. More of an organization? Well, yeah. So the Stratos are more of an organization. And what the Stratos kind of deviate from, from the more primitive mm -hmm. kind of nomadic tribes, is that they are, in fact, not nomadic. Um, if you had a significant history check, I would tell you more about the Stratos and how they went from one of the primitive yeah. nomadic tribes. But you know that the Stratos weren't just like one tribe that was just like, all right, that's it. We're staying in a city and we're becoming civilized. It was a combination of tribes that kind of formed the Stratos and, and settled in Ohiro. But you're one of many small tribes. Um, but, but your tribe's not Would around there anymore. Would be a naming scheme familiar? Usually there's some, some kind of like adjective and then some kind of item or descriptive element. Okay. So like Razor Claw, <laughs> Razor Claw could be an, a, a tribe yeah. name, Come on. Um, but so could like, like you know. Air Totem. <laughs> you name it Bear Totem. <laughs> so, so could like Iron Fang, you know, yeah. that kind of okay. thing. Warrior cats, warrior cats. <laughs> They're awful. My sister. My, I never read the book. My sister Neither. owns all of the books. Okay. Side it's note: even... As you think about your tribe, yes. you notice just that it's peculiar that he asked you what tribe you did walk with, as if somehow he knows that you are from a tribe that no longer exists. I'm gonna kind of meet his gaze again. Study him for a moment. Would there be any reason he would know that about me as I am? He doesn't look Leonin. Right? You seem well taught, or at least knowledgeable in the ways of the Leonin. Poker face. Okay, so you can make you can make yourself. another insight roll if you want. Four. Ooh. Poker face. It's like you're looking at a tree bark. He just looks at you. Tree bark is more. He says, and then he says, man. "Yes, I am. You are an orphan." I'm just gonna stand up. Now you know that term. Mm -hmm. 
Orphans are a derogatory term for Leonin. It's kind of like a Ronin, basically. Like you're, it's sort of a derogatory term. It's not just a direct insult, but it's kind of like a low-key derogatory term for those who don't have a tribe. Occam is standing up. And he's going to reach for his great You're axe. taller than him. He's going to bare his fangs. Watch your tongue. Sit back down. He says, where did you find her? And he gestures down towards Lark. Do I recall any part of Lark ever mentioning to me anything to do with not revealing? Nope. No. However, Lark also didn't reveal the fact that they were a Fingari. <laughs> <laughs> Until about yep. 24 hours ago? Can I tell this man is Fingari or... You don't see any bestial signs. You just made that assumption, Harris. You, I didn't tell you that he was Fengari. You did. You did he say looks, Fengari. You said Fengari. He looks Fengari. like a Kamina. Okay. Like, you said, you Fengari. said Fengari. Oh, then I, I mixed it up. My bad. Kamina are the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like a human. But now the cat's out of the bag, so basically, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I fucked looks, up, so but he's he a Fengari. But he looks a little bit like a Fengari. Fengari's out of the skin, perhaps. Ho, ho, ho. Occam's not going to answer. He waits, and then he nods. He says. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And then he turns and walks away into the prairie. Waddle waddle. He's just walking directly bum, 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 yep. bum, 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 bum. towards the prairie. Sorry. How much longer is left in my rest? In my watch, rather. Mm, maybe forty-five minutes. Once he's about one hundred and fifty feet away, or would the sun begin to rise sometime soon? Yeah. Occam is going to. Leave a note to the party. Okay. Writing, following, uh, off a rock. Go east. He's gonna leave that where he was, and he's gonna stand up and trail the man as he walks away. Make a stealth check. <laughs> Josh, all these have been five as you or set, under. As you oh, set the note down, and you start walking away. You hear this little like, and you see, oh, no. you see Vermont kind of like pull two of its arms over its from over its eyes, which is like its sleeping position, and it like looks up at you. His pupils explode into a massive black saucer, and he's like. Rawr! And he, he gets up and kind of starts toddling towards you. I'm going to sleepily. take some of the remains of the goat creature, kind of toss them towards wherever Winnie is sleeping, and see if that pulls Vermont away. He looks, and he, he goes over there, but he turns back, and he goes, Rawr! and his head turns sideways. <laughs> you can't yeah, do John, this it's not worth it. 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 Walk over and grab Vermont and kind of like. And Vermont scampers up and backpacks onto you. I'm gonna try to follow off a rock. Okay. Uh, make a survival check. Get that. If you left the boy, I would have cried. Uh, that is going to be an ten. You easily follow his tracks up until it gets into the tall grass. Mm -hmm. And then something strange is happening because you're like, you're looking for like bent blades of grass and, and it's, it becomes exceedingly harder. You go, you make it maybe a hundred yards into the field of tall grass, but you have no idea where he went. Do you continue east through the tall grass? I need to know how far you're traveling yeah. if you are. Okay? I'm trying to decide 
How mad is he? Um, roll a D12. I mean, you were insulted. Yeah. Uh, roll a D12, Josh. Gotta find some use for it. <laughs> roll 3D4. <laughs> I mean, about 100 yards in. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go through the tall grass east, you're talking about as far as you can see. Yeah. How many miles can you see? One. Yeah, so if you jump up really tall and look over the tall grass, you could see that the tall grass goes for at least a mile. I'm going to begin cutting a path using my great axe. Okay. Go another 100 yards, see if I can find any trail. Make another survival check. Better. Uh, 16. You find a trail. Very subtle. I'm gonna continue okay. making sure to leave at least some marking of where I'm going. Okay. You continue cutting your way through the sea of tall grass. Um, you're following the trail. You go a mile mm -hmm. and you kind of emerge from this patch of tall grass and you notice that there's sort of like a rocky area and then a drop off of about 50 feet down to kind of like a lower level of ground. Do I see any signs of like disruption of the earth below? Like yes. Like fell or uh, down? No, but what you do see as you emerge with your insane vision is down below in this lower level of open land is just more prairie for as far as you could see but about a mile out at the edge of your supervision, you see a very large encampment with probably like 12 different bonfires going and you see tents, but they're not quite tents. They're like, I mean, they're tents, okay? But they look like they're very primitive, made of skins. This looks like a sort of a nomadic camp. Not all that unlike perhaps what you would have grown up in. Um, but with your supreme one mile vision, you notice that there are not Leonin in this camp. There are not uh, centaurs or satyrs or turtles or any other of the furry folk. These are all apparently humans. They all pretty much look kind of like Afarok. They're all wearing, you know, kind of more primitive clothing. Um, and you see that they are basically, what it looks like they're doing is the, the fires are going, it looks like people are preparing food, you know, morning stuff, right? Um, people are coming out of their tents. They're families, like men, women, children, old people, young people. Go ahead and make a perception check. All right, and I'm what, a, ooh, that's very good. That'll be a 22. Um, you spot Afarok. You see him kind of in the middle of the camp, sitting around one of the fires. And it looks like there's a group of 14 other people, men and women, also kind of similarly garbed. They have like spears, they, they have uh, axes, kind of more of the simple weapons, clubs, that kind of thing, um, bow, like bows. And you, you notice that he seems to be like gesturing and kind of explaining something and you see some other people kind of looking at him and it looks like they're having some kind of discussion and then you s multiple times see him point in like point west and then you know and he's like and they're and like a couple of them stand up and they they like they look angry how dry are the grasses they're standing in uh not dry enough to start an epic okay. fire because <laughs> Real warfare. yeah Josh, huh? Oh, crime's I'll make note of where the camp is with my wanderer background, uh, which means I know exactly where it is. Um, I'm going to make sure I recognize, if there's anyone else, I would immediately recognize any figures that are dressed significantly differently. I'm also keeping note of Afarok. This seems to be a very cohesive sort of tribe. Mm -hmm. And. Good. How far away are they? About a mile, you said? Yeah, they're at the edge. Their camp is like at the edge of your supervision. We return to camp. Okay. 
you backtrack through the, you're basically able to follow your own mm -hmm. markings. So you go back through the sea of tall grass, you get back to the camp, sun is rising, got a little bit of sun coming up, and you get back to the camp just in time for sunrise. Your friends are still all there, they're alive, nobody killed them when you ran off. Mm -hmm. They are sleeping. <laughs> and right around Mark now is like... when the rest would have ended, correct? Yep. <laughs> so the long rest has ended. You arrive back, your friends are sleeping, and it is gone. Up. You wake up, everyone? Uh, yes, hey. I'm gonna start with Lark, actually, before okay. making these two. <coughs> you receive a little nudge, <laughs> wake you up. You've had an epically long, like nine hour long rest. Hello? Do you know a man named Offerok? Do I? You do. In fact, I'm going to say this. You know Afarok because he's your uncle. <laughs> and that is where we'll end this episode oh, of D&D no, with high school no. students. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and the cliffhanger oh. properties that I oh, no. expertly oh, no. waited for and That's prayed so would happen. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support. If you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe button because it um, provides me with nourishment for, for my <laughs> ego. I don't know, it doesn't really do anything, but thank you, subscribe we appreciate it. Reality. Yeah, like this video, subscribe. Yes. Yeah, share the greatness of this ongoing series, and we will see you for the next episode of D&D's High School Students Season 5. Peace out. Bye bye yeah. That's Mormon time. Mormon time. <laughs>